today, we're going to look at a slightly more complex analysis using Scan and Solve. This is a solid model of a quadrant, which is to be mounted on a flat surface in order to guide the motion of a lever attached to a pivot shaft that will fit through these bearing holes. We will simulate the action of a lever by applying loads to see if the quadrant is strong enough. Typically, to perform finite element analysis, this part would have to be simplified by removing the embossed lettering, eliminating small bends and rounds, simplifying topology in corners, and so on, before it can be meshed. But not with Scan and Solve, which always computes on the native geometry. So let's see how this works. First, we type SNS in the command line of Rhino to start Scan and Solve. We'll select Tin Bearing Bronze for the material. Next, we'll restrain the flat back face where the quadrant will be mounted. Now we need to choose the loads that will simulate the action of the lever on the quadrant casting. In this case, we've already determined that applying 100 pounds to the lever produces forces of 475 pounds on the stop and 375 pounds on the bearing boards respectively. We will assume that the 375 pounds will be split between the two bearing bores and is applied to their upper right quadrants by the lever's pivot shaft. Let's apply 250 pounds to the larger bore and 125 pounds to the smaller one. Now we'll pick a resolution somewhere in the mid-range and click the Go button. Once the solution is computed, the results are displayed on the original Rhino model. In the simplified view, we see the computed stresses. The absence of red color shows that the stresses are nowhere near the predicted breaking point for this geometry and selected material. Switching to the advanced view, we can estimate the predicted stresses and displacements. In the advanced view, red corresponds to the maximum values of stresses or displacements, and does not necessarily imply a problem. The deflected view slider can be useful in understanding how the predicted displacements arise. Please visit and register at www.scanandsolve.com to download the latest version of Scan and Solve for Rhino.